Yeah. And uh, that's the whole idea of grace. And, you know, I grew up a, a Baptist and a missionary Baptist and went to church every Sunday when I was a little kid. And though my parents weren't religious, one of my grandmothers, who you'll occasionally hear me talk about in my sermons, um, <laughs> the religious fanatic grandmother, very religious, very, very religious. And because she was so concerned that our parents weren't religious, she exposed us to it all the time. And it drove me away from religion because what I identified, what, what I thought to be true was that these people are bigots and they're hateful. And whether I believe in all the supernatural aspects of their religion or not, I know that I don't like who they are, you know, I, I, it's not good. When I began going to church again, it was out of a sense of desperation, looking for answers. Maybe not even looking, well, I think I went looking for answers, but what I came away with was understanding, not answers, but understanding. And one of the things I realized is that when they talked about grace on Sundays, I had no idea what that was. You know, I mean, people talk about it all the time, but I had no idea what it was. And so I finally asked someone and they explained to me, um, oh, I, I don't remember exactly how they explained it to me, but it didn't make sense to me. What I got was is that grace is getting something you don't deserve, that you don't deserve God's love and you don't deserve to be saved, but God loves you so much, God gives it to you anyway not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. That that's an act of grace. That there's no reason God should pardon your offenses, but God does because God loves you. Not because of who you are, but because of who God is. I could not process that idea in my mind, that it wasn't about me. That it was about God, not about me. And that God did these things for me, not because I deserved them, not because I had earned them, but just because God is who God is, and God loves me enough to do it. Um, American religion is so focused on earning salvation in a way that would have just blown the reformers' minds. <laughs> that, I mean, America's the great sort of Protestant country, you know, and our ideas are so far away from what, it's actually one of the things I love about really conservative Presbyterians who otherwise I find have very little to recommend um, their theology, but they have this amazing focus on grace um, that really could teach us a lot. Um, this idea that it's not about earning, it's given, you know, because American religion is so based on um, doing um, doing what looks right, even when it has nothing to do with Christianity. That blows my mind all the time. People talk about Christian things. Um, they, you know, they identify things as being Christian, and you say, well, where is that in the Bible? And they don't know. They haven't even read the Bible. <laughs> they have no idea. You know, they haven't even read the basic text of the religion. Um, it's become so tied into a culture and preserving cultural values that may or may not actually be theological ones. Mm -hmm. I joked at Thanksgiving that if people wished me a Thanksgiving, I was going to say, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I'm Jewish, just to see what people would say, because they think it's a Christian holiday. It's not. <laughs> you know, it's not a Christian holiday, but people think it is, you know? Anyway, because it's cultural, because it supports a cultural ideal that they identify as being Christian.